you knew when you went for this mm -hmm. that it said 18. I know. I just thought it was just an opportunity of a lifetime, just a once in a lifetime, just a once off. And I went and I never ever expected for one minute that I would get as far as I did. And I just kept getting through to the next round and then the next round. And I was thinking, why are they still letting me through? But they were. And, um, and then it just got, got out of control. And, I was just okay, but, every but did you think at any point, look, this has got to end? Mm. I mean, they say 18, or did you think that, well, if they really like me, they'll forget about that rule for a little while and let me into the band? No, it wasn't like that. It was just, it just got too hard to tell them. And there was one time when we were asked our age, and it was just on the, when we had to write it in the first day at the open auditions, we had to write our date of birth, and then from then on it wasn't asked. So I just thought, I'm not going to answer a question that wasn't asked. So, um, okay, but, but when you were selected uh, for the house and you jumped up and down and you hugged everybody in sight and that meant that you were in the band, um, at the back of your mind was there nothing, I mean you joy, you were absolutely thrilled, but at the back of your mind was there something, I'm going to get caught out, this could end badly. I was closer than the back of my mind, it was just, it was always there, it was always hanging over me and I couldn't, even though I got under the band, it was brilliant, it was... Oh, I was always there and always knew that this can't last. It wasn't meant to be. I can't, I can't be in the band. Um, what did people say to you during the week? I mean, um, the people in Derry were absolutely on your side. There's no question about it. And they would sympathise you because everyone wants their own person to, to get That's through. Funny. But what kind of reactions did you get from people, maybe not from Derry? Um, I got brilliant, brilliant responses. I, didn't, I thought that if, I didn't expect it was going to make such a big deal. Um, I thought, oh, she's 16 and you know, I'm going to leave and, and that was going to be it. But whenever it did make a big deal and then I thought, oh, people's going to be calling me a liar and, and screaming at me in the streets that I did the wrong thing. But they didn't. The response has just been brilliant. Now, the story actually broke uh, before the programme went out. I think the, the Sunday World had it. We've got some of the headlines that resulted from, from that. We'll just show them to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I lied for stardom. Band pop star Nadine tells for nightmare. That's from the Irish Mirror. Mm -hmm. Naughty Nadine again from the Mirror. Pop star's liar gets the boot from the Sunday World. Now it's chop stars, <laughs> the Sunday World. They're the kind of things that um, were written about you. How did you react when you saw that stuff? I didn't react the way I thought I would have reacted. I thought it would have been. Devastated and heartbroken that people have written things, but I wasn't. I took it. I took it okay because they're not writing anything that isn't untrue. I did lie about my age, and um, so they're not lying by writing it. So I can't. There's nothing. I just have to accept it. <laughs> and, and when you saw the program, because you didn't see it before it went out, it was edited right up to the the last moment or so, and you saw as it unfolded. What what was your reaction? Tears, <laughs> crying. I was just David. I was just heartbroken after watching it because you relive everything over again, and it was just, just reliving it over again was just really hard because that day it was an awful day, just leaving and leaving your five best friends. So um, I was bringing it all back again, and I was crying. Uh, how, how long were you together with them in the house before they did this sequence, asking each of you? something about yourself, a little profile to camera. That was the very, the first day, the very first day in the house. When we just everyone arrived. was there together? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. very first day. All right, and it was like you're all together, you're all going on this great adventure <laughs> to hit the big time, and then you were out the door. I know. Um, they also showed some stuff of you um, making calls and this kind of thing about your passport, but you knew that your passport, if you do have one, I don't know if you have one, do you have mm -hmm. a passport? I do have a passport, and what I wanted to do then was I would have to make it somewhat easier on myself. I wanted to just hand Linda McCoy, the director, the passport and say, look, there it is, I'm, I'm 16, just let me go home now, but I couldn't find it. So I was running around and looking for it, and I couldn't find it. And you rang it. your mum, and you were going through all these handbags. You must be a great girl for handbags. There were an awful lot of those <laughs> ha handbags around. But, but you knew that there was only one end to this, didn't mm -hmm. you? Home, just out of the band, going home. And, and I always knew it from the start, and I always knew that, that I that could never last and that I was always going to have to go home and that...